Hello everyone. Our paper title is Failure-Based Variable Ordering Heuristics for Solving CSPs, presented at the CP Conference of 2021. This is the outline. I will introduce the background first and then the proposed variable ordering heuristics, then the experiments, and finally the conclusion. Let's start from the background. The constraint satisfaction problem is a triple P XDC, where X is a set of n variables, C is a set of domains where each DOM XI is a finite set of possible values for variable XI, and C is a set of constraints. Each constraint consists of two parts an ordered set of variables and a subset of the Cartesian product of the domains that specifies the disallowed or allowed combinations of values for the variables. A solution to a CSP is an assignment of a value to each variable such that all the constraints are satisfied. Solving a CSP involves either finding one solution or more solution of P, or proving that there is no such an assignment. This is an easy example of a CSP. It contains two variables and two constraints. The domain of each variable contains two values. Backtracking search is a standard method for solving CSPs. It performs a depth-first traversal of a search tree to solve general CSPs. The order in which the variables are assigned is crucial to the efficiency of backtracking search. At the left is an example of a search tree. At each node of the search tree, an unassigned variable is selected by a variable order and heuristic, and the new node is generated after the assignment to this variable. So at each node, we select a variable to do an assignment, and the assignment is usually made by a variable order and heuristic. The fill first principle is a classic and a very, very popular idea of variable order and heuristics. It says, to succeed, try first where you are likely to fail. And following the principle, many, many efficient variable order and heuristics are proposed, such as the minimum domain, maximum degree, the weighted degree, the integrity search, the conflict history search, and so on. Besides the fail first principle, some other efficient search strategies are proposed, such as the activity based search, count based search, and so on. In this work, following the fail first principle, we propose failure based variable order heuristics. Uh, given a CSP, a CP solver applies a propagation algorithm F after an assignment of a variable X. If the propagation of the assignment of X leads to a failure, then we say the failure is caused by X. Note that we consider only the variable of the last assignment that directly leads to a failure. We introduce the failure rate based variable order and heuristic first. The failure rate is defined as follows. In the context of backtracking search, the failure rate of a variable x, frx, is fill number x divided by assigned number x, where the fill number is the total number of failures caused by x. And uh, the assigned number is the total number of x being assigned, obviously selected, since the beginning of search. 
the failure rate based variable order heuristic selects the variable with the largest frx divided by the domain size of x. For each variable x, the fill number and the sign number are initialized to 0.5 and 1 respectively. This initialization gives each variable an initial failure rate at 0 0.5. So if a variable leads to many, many failures right after the searching starts, its failure rate will increase. Otherwise, it may decrease. The failure length is defined as if the propagation of an assignment of a variable x leads to a failure, then the length of the failure is the number of past variables plus one. Where the past variables is the variables fixed before the assignment. The failure length based uh, variable ordering heuristic associates an uh, accumulated failure length with each variable x denoted by AFLX. Uh, if a failure is caused by x, then the AFLX is updated as the follows. This is the formula. And the failure length based variable order heuristic selects the variable with the largest AFLX divided by the domain size of X. And for each variable, AFLX is initialized to zero. We also employ the strategy of conflict history based search to make the failure based variable order heuristics prefer the variables causing most recent failures. This is the factor of the decaying strategy, uh, where the number of total failures is the total number of failures detected since the beginning of search. And uh, the last failure x stores the number of total failure of the last failure caused by x. Uh, combining the decaying strategy with failure rate, the FRBA variable order heuristic selects the variable with the largest FRBAX defined as FRX plus AX divided by the domain size of X. Similarly, uh, combining the decaying strategy with failure length, the FLBA variable order heuristic selects the variable with the largest FLBA defined as AFLX multiple AX divided by the domain size of X. Uh, the variable order heuristics were tested in the Choco Solver. We tested them with the mini zinc benchmark including 41 problems with more than 1,800 instances. We tested the four failure-based variable ordering heuristics and some existing heuristics, including the activity-based search, the conflict history search, and the refined weighted degree, and the correlation-based search. Besides, we tested these heuristics equipped with the last conflict-based reasoning and a, a geometric result with initial cutoff 10 and the green factor 1.1. The timeout is set to 1200 seconds. And the source code of the failure-based variable audience heuristics is available at the GitHub link. Firstly, we compared the efficiency of the failure-based variable order heuristics 
But in the table, the LC0, LC1, and LC5 are the last conflict-based reasoning strategies storing 0, 1, and 5 conflict variables respectively. Uh, the number solved is the number of instances solved by each variable order of theory. And the AST is the all solved time. It's the accumulated CPU time of each variable order of theory state. Solving the instances solved by all the compared theory states. And the TT is the total time. It's the total CPU time of each variable order in Houston. Solving the instances solved by at least one of the compared heuristics. And in each row, the best one is in bold. From the table, we can see that with the faster restart strategy, the FRBA performs best in general. And without restart, the FRBA performs best. But the FRBA solves the largest number of instances, so we use it as the representative of the failure-based variable order heuristics in the following experiments. And secondly, we compared the FRBA with the existing heuristics. Uh, it is shown the FRBA outperformed the others in both, uh, in both CPU time and the number of solved instances. Then we present the detailed results of each problem in this table. Uh, this is uh, uh, the results of the heuristics equipped with the last complete reasoning storing five complete variables and uh, the fast restart strategy. Integer in the brackets after each problem name is the total number of instances of the problem. And in each cell, we present the number of solved instances and the total time cost of the instance solved by at least one variable of the heuristic. Uh, the last row shows the numbers of problems where the corresponding heuristic performs best. But to decide uh, which heuristic performs better in a problem, we compare the numbers of solved instances first. If a tie exists, we further compare the total time cost. Uh, we can see both the activity-based search and the FRBA get best performance in 13 problems, which is the largest number. Uh, we also compare the FRBA with the existing one by pairs. Uh, following the previous comparison rule, we can see FRBA uh, performs better in more problems than the existing ones. Finally, to balance the effect of instance set size, we randomly select 41 instances for each minizink model to generate a smaller benchmark size. If a model contains less than 41 instances, we select them all. In the smaller size, we also see that FRBA performs best in general. So the conclusion is the failure-based variable order heuristics are competitive with the existing ones. They can be new candidates for general purpose variable ordering heuristics for black box CSP solvers. 
Uh, that's all. Thank you.